going to check this video out from him right now because he's going to tell us what he's what he's rocking. So here's a video he did uh, dual stick controls and what he uses and why he uses them. So let's check it out. We can learn something here. Okay, the long-awaited video of controls. The very dry topic of understanding <laughs> double stick deflections, what I currently have set to what Yeah, this guy challenges. Stick, right, Explodo. Just just so you guys know, like, Explodo is absolutely right. I've seen this guy fight uh, veterans and rookies and all scales of people. So, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and like and like Explodo says, if you look at the AC leaderboards, he is consistently top five from way back. So this guy knows what he's doing. Uh, you know, like I actually appreciate that he's putting PvP content out for Star Citizen. Again, uh, this gentleman's name is Avenger underscore underscore one. Uh, Explodo let me know that he was actually watching a video of mine where I was watching him. So there was like a reaction vi video to my reaction of his video. So I'm thinking we should find that portion of the stream if somebody can find that. And I will do a reaction of the reaction of the reaction video, which has not really been done uh, in, in this manner before. And I think that's revolutionary. We, we know that I like to be the revolutionary. We know I always am the trendsetter, uh, creating such amazing acronyms like VAG, uh, FIF, if you will. And many other things that people gravitate to and use in their own vernacular. Um, and we, we see this happen a lot. A lot of I don't want any credit for it. Uh, we understand here we are part of something new, new and original. And it just flows from the cranium. It flows from the large cranium into the masses and somehow becomes part of mainstream, uh, you know, media. It's, it's what happens. We don't get the credit for it. We don't want the credit for it. We just create, we just create, we just create. Why? This isn't going to be a super exciting video, guys, but this is, this is at the core of um, your flight combat skills, understanding your controls. Here's what I use. So take it for what it's worth. Reacception, says you. Grizz. However, after some explanation, maybe you'll, you'll try to uh, give this a shot and you might find out that it's not so bad. So let's begin. Let's kind of just walk through what all these indicators mean so that you better understand what's going on. So the philosophy I have with the control scheme that I use. So I use two joysticks, right hand, left hand, both constellation verbal alphas, both with twist axes. My right hand, I don't have any twist bound to anything. It's just, it twists on itself, but there's no yeah, that's that's actually a pretty similar setup. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool what he's doing. Pitching y'all is on my right as well. Uh, twists and rolls on the left. There's no axis that's bound to it. The left hand, however, does have something bound. When I twist my left hand, the ship that I'm flying will roll the direction that I twist. Now, Good morning, people, Anarchy. We were just talking about the amazing artwork that you have done for us. Right hand, Typically when Looks like Mongrel's going to need some help, plane. and you got some work with when Mongrel Anarchy. Left Reach right, out to them. It rolls the fighter. Watch a stream space, earlier. You'll see what I'm talking really about. I find that to be the case. And with Twist, I am more than comfortable having a smooth translational roll with anybody I engage. So the thing to understand about dual sticks is the amount of precision that you are going to have with dual sticks is greater than any other control scheme except yeah. for maybe left hand on a stick right hand on a mouse but with the esp assistance with the fixed assist with yeah the, we went over that explodo and i went off versions. on that i did go off on that for that you explodo, and others in mongrel so mouse, i i, I, I had a nice little rant about that, that it really does have the advantage over the joystick but at least not anymore regardless Twist axis for roll. Chris says That's mouse and keyboard all That's day what long. That's I've been using for many years. I find it to be a fantastic axis for this specifically. So, <laughs> excuse me. What do we use for pitching, y'all? So, when it comes to aiming, I want you to look at the white kind of circle. It's a general area that I want to get myself to. 
My right hand stick controls my yaw, which is my left and right motion, and my pitch, which is my up and down. My right hand stick, its entire purpose is to get, get my in nose that targeting facing zone facing towards yep. the enemy as quickly and effectively as I possibly can. Yep. And as long as I get close enough, my left hand does the fine tuning. Yep. So, what do I mean by that? So if we look here, we have four little white lines, each resembling the barrel of the uh, of a gun that I have on the arrow. Four guns on the arrow, four lines. You'll notice that my fall of shot, where my barrels are pointing, are not exactly perfectly aligned with the lead pip, which is where I should be aiming to get the actual shot to register. With the flight time and the distance that this target's engaging me at, I need to aim a little higher up. Well, what do I do? I can use my right hand stick to pull my nose up onto the target, but a lot of times it'll roll it. I use my left stick and it'll and roll to it. When it comes to rotational movements, when you're moving your nose of your ship around, the, roll. the ships sometimes can sway. There's sometimes a little oversteer. Some ships will feel a little a little tighter than others, and some will feel sloppy as as all hell. I mean, the Buccaneer feels like it's drunk half the time, but you fly the arrow <laughs> and it's like a scalpel. It's very precise, very responsive. So in this situation, we want to get our pip. We want to get our follow shot just a little higher, but I'm thinking I like where my right hand is because if he's strafing up in that motion, my right hand is doing a lot of work anyway. It's matching the target uh, movement it's that roll. the hawk is doing. Roll two and so my, my right hand's already doing some movement. So what I want to do now is I just want to push my left stick forward. So my left stick, when I deflect it forward, I strafe up. And because oh, okay. it's analog, All right. I only need to strafe up, let's say, I don't know, 5 to 10 degrees. It's You'll see the little green, what looks like a T-shape, and it says left stick control distance. And what that is is... I'm not going to touch my or right stick up. any more than I already need to. I've already matched the majority of the movement that the enemy is doing. And the last little bit of assistance I guess I need is I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to push that little left stick forward just a little bit just to get my shot perfectly lined up onto the lead pip. Now, this, is, this can be translated between any kind of motion, regardless of whether or not it's pitching up, strafing down, pitching right. Sounds like right, it, Grizz. Like left, his, his right, motion and his down, movement and his speed. Up, like strafing down, pitching up, whatever the comp. He, he, he lets the other player do a lot of the work. So you're right. Like he's always in the kind of, he's always the center. He's always trying to be the center uh, of of the momentum he's trying to literally stay in the center of the, of the momentum and then reacts based upon like his reactions don't have to be um as as wild as the others because other guys trying to like find a way around him depends upon the ship you're flying depends upon the combination ship. is it doesn't matter my left hand controls the smooth translational motion and in space if you're doing your movement correctly Essentially, your nose should never really leave the target. You're always going to be nose to nose with the enemy unless you're able to get into the slot. But you, as the combat engager, you should always be nosing onto your target. If you've lost your target, it means A, they've either gotten behind you and you need to disengage, or you're typically flying something that's very large, but even then, you're still trying to get yourself back on target. So, left hand, when I pitch forward, I strafe up and depending on how much I pitch that stick, it depends on how much my ship is going to strafe up that little bit that I need to make that perfectly accurate shot. And that's the difference. If I had analog or sorry, digital control, if I just pressed like the W button, it would ask for a 100% pitch, like a strafe up, which means for a minuscule amount of time for that little bit of time, I might be on target. But because I'm asking for my arrow to strafe up hard, because this is why I love this game, because like with Erad's comment, like Erad's like so complicated. That's why I'm an FPS combat player in SC. And this is this is really why I love Star Citizen. You know, 
you don't have like these skill books where you just automatically like, you know, buy a book and then you got to wait a certain duration of time. And then whoops, you're skilled up to do X, Y, Z. Like these are, these are actually game mechanics, right? And some people will gravitate to certain game mechanics over others. So like for instance, Erad's uh, professional, his, his professionalism is like on the ground with an uh, F55 uh, and, and, you know, like pounding dirt on the ground and doing what he does in his FPS mode. Other people like uh, Avenger, Man, they're 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 pilots. They're they're ace combat pilots. You know, like so. This is really, I think, the juice behind why Star Citizen is really going to be a fun game. You're going to see a lot of people gravitate to a, a profession and then become professionals. You know, it's going to be great. What's up, Donnie? How you doing, Marion? Long time no Good see, buddy. Good to see you here. Zero with 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 uh, sick up in the keys. house. I'm never going to be consistently on the mark. And that's the big difference. Consistency is key. You need to pressure, pressure, pressure as much as you can when it comes to using, uh, you know, when it comes to closing on and getting damage. You see it all the time. Oh, we watched screen. it all day, Donnie. We you had know, a blast, man. Breaking all types of records like last Saturday. It was the, uh, super fun, uh, super fun. And I stick to it like, like glue. Like ESP helps as well, but I stick to it like glue because what's happening is it's a combination of not only my right stick controlling my nose direction, but my left stick canceling the motion all like <laughs> yeah just earlier today we did Boba. To keep myself on pip and i can adapt as the situation uh uh comes into play so when i pull my left stick back i strafe down when i push it to the right i strafe right when i push it to the left i strafe left think of it like using an xbox controller we've all played halo the left stick controls your movement left right up down or left right forward back <laughs> excuse me and your right uh, control stick controls your aim. In space, though, your plane is always nosing off at the enemy in the sense that, you know, your standard movement should always be nose to nose. Yep. So with the left stick controlling up, down, left, and right strafe, as long as you're always nosing off to the enemy, you have perfect, perfect nose accuracy, right? So how do we control our throttle? For me, I use my pedals uh -huh. so i bought t rudder pedals from dude. dkb and when i find dude i knew this guy was rocking pedals as well like he like you can tell like his speed is dead on like every time he gets in a, in a, in a situation uh his fucking accuracy is ridiculous and i i just knew he was rocking pedals i knew it and the best is when i push my right foot in i go forward I mean, we've all driven a car. I, I'm, a, I'm <laughs> all a car. done. And, you know, gas to go, brake to stop. It's very similar. <laughs> you push your right foot down, you go forward. And as you, you ease put bagels off on in that too, accelerator, buddy. you slowly bring yourself back to center. Let's say you're in a position where you want to create some space. Bang, the left foot goes down. And again, the more you push <laughs> that left foot in, the farther and faster you start to push away. And you can easily, gradually keep yourself in range. This guy's a pro. In and out as Highly you recommend fit. this guy's channel. And you have fine analog control over your strafe access forward and back. This is extremely important. Yeah. It's a it's a cornerstone to why I feel yeah. like I can be so successful against yes. pilots because they don't have fine the like, speed control. Absolute razor they don't have fine tuning on speed. Speed so is so important. Get that throttle. Last little ten percent. Yep. of control which leads to more shots on target and again this is why he can keep distance at the perfect uh this is why he can keep the perfect distance this is exactly why he keeps perfect distance to his target is the pedal control you know accuracy and 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 the reason why he's able to tune uh targeting and and and, and be so accurate with 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 the guns obviously dual dual sticks but like this this is like numero uno being able to be the correct distance at all times from the target gives him priority on being the center of the, the combat, being able to have the other player work so fucking hard, moving around him all the time. Every time we watch a PVP confrontation, you're always watching these people scatter around him trying to figure out how to get an angle on Avenger. And the reason why Avenger's always got the perfect angle is because he's, he's, he's literally using these pedals like a fucking pro. He's, he's keeping the distance that he needs from his target at all times. That gives you such an advantage. This this is like 
primarily if you want to become a really good pvp -er, like having pedal control like this and the ability to, to have superior throttle at all times gives you the ability to have that perfect distance from your target this is great information he's absolutely right Again, with the dual sticks, I can be ex like I can be consistently. Well, uh, this on the this step. gentleman's name again is uh, just for you, Starlet, is Avenger underscore underscore one. We will put the link to his channel. We watched uh, we have watched two PVP confrontations right now. We just watch him in a terrapin take down. Uh, what did he take down, guys? And two arrows <laughs> in a terrapin, and then we saw him uh, an Aurora take out a Gladius, a Hawk, and a Saber in an Aurora. Okay. So he had the perfect sleeper mobile and he was taking people out in PVP confrontations because of what we're seeing here. So this is really important. This is actually really like PVP 101 for Star Citizen for people who want to become ace combat pilots. Uh, this is it. This is it. And I can always adapt to the small minute changes in movement, which give me the kills. Yep. That's it. He's so, right. I mean, that's that's pretty it. Much all Pedals it. are the key. Uh, we touched on why we use the axes the way we do i touched on what i use for my throttle and again guys I, I say this on stream all the time as long as you have analog control and when i mean by analog i mean not digital but some kind of precise axis whether you have forward and back strafe on your left stick that's yeah fine. this guy's a pro starlet but make sure that you have some axis that's what i'm here for getting you guys hit <laughs> To all this the info. The combination between controlled, precise strafe direction to cancel enemy momentum. Yes. On top of yes. slow, methodical, and accurate and precise um, pitch and yaw, which I find is nice because on my right stick, <laughs> it's my aiming stick. So all my nose directions on my right and all my translational <laughs> movements are on Stop. my left as well as my twist so that nothing gets in the way of my trigger. You're a warrior, Starlight. You're a warrior. I know you. Uh, I've been using this control scheme for a long time, and that pretty much is it, guys. All right, go check him out because this guy's actually giving out lessons as well. Uh, he's got a, he's got a basically a stream and uh, that he teaches people PvP on, and he's always taking people up and uh, on on challenges. Uh, Explodo got me really, really, really into this dude. I've watched about four or five videos. Some of this information I already knew. Uh, and other information is just like a tre is a treasure trove of PVP information. So please go check out Avenger One. I am, as you can see, subscribed. I will like that video. I will like this video. And he definitely needs more help. He needs more subscribers. Only two point three thousand subscribers. Go over there and help him out. This is exactly why DG three sixty exists is to get you guys information out there, whether it be funny, serious, you know, whatever the whatever the subject matter could be. Star Citizen could be other games. Just having a good time, having fun, getting you guys like. Uh, new things to watch and uh, might help you out or just make you laugh. That's really what DG360 is here for and just have a good time hanging with the fam. Let's get back to the channel, shall we? And let's have more fun.